Welcome back to Cody's Movie Cave. Where, yeah, we done did Mad Max Fury Road, but why stop there? Let's continue on down the post-apocalyptic road, if you will. We'll start it all the way at the beginning with Mad Max, the movie that sort of introduced us to this crazed and uber-violent apocalyptic world with uh, our character, Mad Max, who for most part, hadn't become mad just yet, at least toward the end of this movie. Mel Gibson, in one of his career-starting roles, played the title character of Mad Max, a cop who sort of patrols the, the wild highways of uh, Australia, Australia, right? And uh, sort of is the only law around. And... Uh, Pretty much this is the beginning of the end, you know, the, the apocalypse is whatever's happened is already starting to happen, and so, yes, the roads have been took over by these crazed maniacs who are out for gas, water, you know, the usual stuff you need to survive in a post-apocalyptic world, right? Well, if you haven't watched this movie, spoiler alert, skip forward, spoiler alert. Max's family, his wife and his young child, is brutally murdered and mowed down by a group of gang of just nasty ne'er-do-wells, right? And so, that's what turns Max mad. And, uh, and so, begins his journey of hunting down these fools one by one in his hot rod, the Interceptor, his car of choice, which is one bad-ended mobile, I must say. Anyway... Really pretty good, pretty decent. You know, it was a good start for the franchise, but when it really takes off is when we move toward the sequel, the number two, Mad Max, Road Warrior, where our hero, Mel Gibson, Mad Max, if you will, starts to try to survive in the wasteland, which is really has come, become really bad from what the beginning movie was. And so, yeah. Things have spiraled drastically since we caught up with Max. And in Road Warrior, pretty much everything is dead. There's no greenery. There's just this wasteland of nothingness. No water, no gas, or as they call it, gasoline. Um, and so, yeah. And Max has to sort of become this uh, protector slash, um, I don't know what you'd call it, um, guide or or whatever, anyway, for this group of people who are trying to start civilization and trying to escape the uh, Lord Umungus, the uh, the other new crazed uh, leader in this apocalyptic world of, of mass murderers and, and, and just maniacs. And so, yeah, pretty much uh, things have gotten worse in the world of Max in this one. Action is amped up. Our story doesn't quite drag as much as the first one did, and it's a pretty good, solid, classic 80s dystopian apocalyptic world that we're introduced to. And so, works really good. Mel Gibson does a fine job. He sort of have made this character his own at this point, and really good. And so then we fast forward to Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. People can, you know, they say what they want to about this movie. I thought it was okay. Was it as good as the first two? No, it was not. It wasn't, and was it as good as Fury Road? No, it was not. None of them as good as Fury Road, just saying. But uh, Beyond Thunderdome is a pretty solid addition to the, the anthology because you gotta keep in mind, these are not direct sequels. They're just stories in the Mad Max world, kind of like things that he goes through from a day-to-day -day basis. And so, more anthology than actual sequels and uh, franchise, if you will. But, the great Tina Turner shows up as uh, the ruler of Thunderdome. And uh, so, yeah, it's a pretty good, decent movie. The Mad Max franchise has always been a good one, in my opinion. I always liked it. I thought it was a, at the time that they came out, a very original idea. And it sort of spawned and inspired a whole a whole entire genre within itself, or within the action sci-fi genre. Um, you've had, what, Book of Eli, we've had um, Doomsday, we've had countless of movies that sort of drew heavily off of the Mad Max world. 
that George Miller created. And so here's hoping we can continue to get more. Check out my review up above on Fury Road, okay? One of the best additions in the franchise. Um, as I stated earlier, you know, Furiosa is coming out in 2024, which is a prequel to Fury Road with the Furiosa character. Chris Hemsworth will be in that one as a, uh, as a villain, I'm, I've, I've heard, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's a big movie for him because he's from Australia, right? He's Australian already, Mike. Anyway, and uh, I keep waiting for a Mad Max sequel, a direct sequel to Fury Road. And there were um, some rumblings about when that movie came out that they would try to do one and it would be called Mad Max Wasteland, not to be confused with the great PlayStation 4 video game. But here's hoping we continue to get more Mad Max, more fun, fun in the wasteland. Anyway, check out my review of Mad Max Fury Road. I think it's a pretty cool one. Um, as we say down here in the cave, this has been my opinion, and opinions are like butts. Everybody's got one. Some of them stink. Good day.